Hello Market Club members everywhere. Adam Hewison here coming to you from the digital studios of Market Club. Well, October was quite a month and there were some big gains in the stocks, but also the fourth quarter that's right now with us is also proven to be an interesting quarter for gains historically in the stock market. Normally, an average has been about 4% since 1949. Now, it's not every single year, of course, but sometimes years where you have losing years and we have to be respectful of that. But what we want to focus on today is this particular stock is TE Connectivity. The symbol is TEL. You can see it right here. And what I have on the screen is I've drawn a trend line from the highs that were seen back in March around the set, a little over the 72, 73 area. And we've had that trend line hit three spots, which is exactly what we need to see if we're going to see a valid trend line. So here's the first spot right here in a couple of spots there and right here. You see how it got to the bounce back back. Now today we went through that line with a monthly green trade trial. That's a buy that turned a positive at 64.92. Now earlier it was 62.57 to come out of a short position on a monthly trade triangle that was in place right here. So the market went down. We've had a couple of trades there. But generally speaking, it looks like it's made a huge base. You can see right here, this looks like a big base. It just went over this level right here, 64. And how we're measuring this is simply from this level right here, which is 64, to the lows right here, and we'll call that 56. So if you subtract 56 from 64, that gives you $8, okay? So we're going to take the same $8, and we're going to add it to 64. So we do that, and it's going to be up to 72. And that takes us all the way back to these levels right here where the markets had problems before. So that's going to be the upside target for the stock. It looks very, very good in our opinion. You've got a nice strong break of the trend line, which is right here. Classic trend line. It's about a, since March. So what is that? Uh, a almost an eight month trend line and then you have the move over the 50 line which has been in place for quite some time but it's still very strongly over the 50 line indicating a strong upward trend so I would look for this market to continue up I would say probably the first reasonable resistance area is going to be around the 67 level so it may begin to regroup at that point in time but I think we're going to see this market do much better in Q4 so that again this is probably our stock pick of today anyway at uh, plus 100, a breakout over the trend line, a massive head and shoulders base, and I think that's a good thing to have. So here, basically the head, head and shoulders is right. There's the left shoulder. This would be the head, and this would be a right shoulder. And that's a classic head and shoulders formation in our opinion. So let's move on, but again, looking for this stock to go to $72 on the upside and it looks like it's a go. Next market which is gold which is interesting also. We 55 is a trading range. We talked about that but we also have the weekly down now which is not a good sign particularly for gold but this is what I want to share with you today and that is the trend line right here was sort of right on that trend line uh, so if this doesn't hold it then I think we're just going to be in a very large trading range probably surrounded by the highs that we've seen here and the lows there. So let's see how that plays out. But a little disappointment in the gold. It's come back a little further than we expected. But this is kind of like the last stand right here, this trend line that we see from August. And we are below the 50 line. Speaking of a large trading range, you can see the euro has pretty much had the same pattern here. We've sort of found resistance right around these levels. And it looks like it supports coming in right around the 108 level, which is our target zone, by the way, for this market. So let's see how that plays out. But again, it's a 55 trading range. So choppy, choppy, choppy in this area. Next market is crude oil. I'm going to put a, a candlestick chart on here and let's scope this into like three months so you get an idea. But again, this is a, a problem where we've got resistance in this market right around the highs. Uh, you can see right around the 50 area here. And we've got support. It looks like here, but we've broken through the support. So it looks like we could still see this market become more and more defensive and possibly moving down to touch these lows back here that we saw in August. So again, the thing to look at is the tops here and this sort of formation you had from here. Let's say, we'll call this, let's say, 45 to 51. So it's $6. I think you could see, as they say, down to the 40 level, 
and even the $39 level. So it looks like the trend is there. Uh, mixed picture in the daily is a little positive, indicating more of a trading range. But generally speaking, the monthly and the weekly are down, indicating a longer term downtrend for crude oil. Looking at the Dow, we're back into an area of uh, potential resistance. You see it's just sort of chopping around here. It really doesn't have anything dramatic, but it hasn't been going down either. So again, uh, let's watch that very carefully. We're waiting for a signal, potential signal on our monthly trade triangle. It hasn't come in yet, but uh, it may come in very soon. So, or, may, or it may not come in. We'll have to see. But let's watch the area I'll be watching today is the lows that we saw on Friday. And that was 17,862. And uh, so it, if we would drop another 80, 90, 100 points, I think that would not necessarily be a good sign for the Dow. On the S&P, pretty much the same picture there. A little bit positive interest here on the upside. But uh, again, it's not super, super enthusiastic and earnings have been a disappointment let's face it have not been good so the market's sort of chugging along nasdaq still chomping along again we're overboard but it doesn't really matter at this point in time i think the key level to look at there is going to be the 5054 level so another 50 points down but that's where support is right now so let's see how that plays out i'm adam hewison but check out that stock that we talked about from the very beginning and i think that's the one to look at there's this te connectivity symbol tel and there's the signal today that came in at 6492. So I'm Adam Hewison. Have a great day trading and thank you for watching.